I'm here in Tennessee and I got the opportunity to check out this metal printing company. They do all kinds of printing, large scale, small scale, called One Off Robotics. We're gonna meet their team and see some of the work they've done. Let's hear about what One Off Robotics is capable of from Tony DeSanto. I'm the uh, co-owner and founder of One Off Robotics. Uh, we do large format metal 3D printing. We also do large format ceramic and polymer printing. Uh, we also specialize in additive and subtractive robots. So over here is a milling cell. But yeah, so here's some of our metal 3D printed parts. Uh, this is actually part of a robot arm that we 3D printed. Uh, the full part is about this long, but I can show you where that lives on the robot then in a couple of minutes. Um, we have some smaller 3D printed beams here. This just shows you what you can achieve with uh, the, our metal 3D printing technology. So this beam, while it looks like a normal I-beam and cross-section, it can flare, it can twist, it can be completely custom. Um, some other pieces, we 3D printed a katana recently. And uh, this is a model of a wind turbine blade, but that's one of the things we're really excited about is uh, 3D printing propellers for the marine industry. Uh, behind me here is a 3D printed drone body. This is printed in ABS uh, with 20% carbon fiber, and it's a, a hollow print, so uh, the entire print weighs around 11 pounds, and it's 7 feet long. So this is one of our robotic CNC machines. It can change from a uh, milling head to a polymer 3D printing head to a metal 3D printing head, and uh, this particular one is set up to do really large, uh, really large milling, See some of these cutters here are uh, eight inch long. The cutter itself weighs around eight pounds. Uh, so the reach on this robot is about 2.8 meters. So we can make parts with this one, you know, roughly twice that size. We also include with all of our milling cells, uh, automatic tool changing software, uh, all of the touch probes so that the robot can uh, learn about its environment. It can find where its tool rack is. It also automatically sets the tool length so our whole uh, strategy is to make robotic milling and printing easy for people. So Nick Johnson, uh, co-founder and co-owner of One-Off Robotics. Um, been around for quite a few years and we started this company and, and built it from the ground up and we really care about its people and its culture. Trying to create a place that fosters innovation and supports people. Um, our values are posted on our website, one of the first things we put up because we're really trying to create something different and innovative. And I think that means taking care of people and putting them first. So we're talking about the metal 3D printing process with Meltio on giant robots. Um, what's really cool about this process is it uses a filament wire, so kind of a standard commodity of welding wire, um, and feeds it into the weld pool and you get 100% or 99.998 densification. So really solid parts out of a standard commodity and yet you get really good material properties. So it's 20% stronger than forged and 30% stronger than cast. Forged metal is what comes to mind when you think of an old-timey blacksmith that heats up the metal and then hits it with a hammer to achieve the desired shape, as opposed to cast metal, which uses a form to pour in the molten metal and then pressed by a machine into a perfect final shape. Evidently, the one-off robotic solution is stronger than both of these methods. And then uh, really nice machining finish on it after it's been printed. This is Inconel 718, so it prints in a lot of your nickel-based materials, steel, titanium. Um, yeah, really solid process, and it scales up on giant robots to get as big as you need. So this is a uh, robot forearm part. It actually goes right here on the robot. So this is a scale model, fully functional part. 
so my name's Cole, um, and I'm a robotics engineer here at One Off. Um, right now we're on our way to a trade show next week, so one of the things we wanted to bring with us was something to give away. So we've got a little bottle opener with our logo on it and with Kuka's logo on the other side. Uh, Kuka is the brand of robots that we're using to print here. Um, so right now I'm just monitoring the print, making sure everything is going well. Uh, and you can see here a preview of the, the finished part. Um, this is useful, you can check you know, each layer, make sure everything looks good. Um, and then we've got the code for the G code. Yep. Uh, well, it starts as G code, uh, and then it gets converted into a SRC file, which is what the, the KUKA actually runs. So you're printing four, and then you're slicing the bandsaw after? Yep. Just trying to save time. Uh, so there's 15 total in this little section right here. What could go wrong that you have to intervene? Um, there's a lot that can go wrong in you know, any, any, any printing process. Uh, right now, one of the main things that I'm monitoring is just the, the level of the top of the part. Over here, we can see there's a load cell on the tool itself. Uh, and it allows you to keep track of the pressure that's exerted on the tool by the, the printing process. Uh, so if that drops too low, we have a problem. If it gets too high consistently, we also have a problem. Uh, so just making small adjustments here and there, keeping everything where it needs to be. Is that the pressure of the material coming through the hose? Or? Yeah, so essentially it's a big spool of wire. Uh, it's driven out the end of the tool by motors, and so it's the pressure of the wire pressing into the printed part. And then if it was too high or low, would you, is it a temperature adjustment or Yeah, it's a, a feed speed? temperature adjustment and feed speed adjustment. They are sort of two sides of the same point. looking for talented people. Um, we started this company and, and built it from the ground up and we really care about its people and its culture. Trying to create a place that fosters innovation and supports people. Um, our values are posted on our website. One of the first things we put up because we're really trying to create something different and innovative. And I think that means taking care of people and putting them first. So uh, if you're interested in being a part of the team, so, um, submit your resume and then check us out. Uh, just Go online to oneoffrobotics.com. There's a section there for hiring. It's right after reading our values. So if that speaks to you, then apply.